All right, YouTube. So today I'm going to try round two of replacing this sensor that's in the back there for the oil pressure. My oil pressure gauge is not working on my S10 swap here. This uh, 5.3 Tahoe motor and my S10, 98 S10, was a four cylinder before. But I changed this the other day, bought it from Amazon, and this little plastic piece here separated from the other piece and it squirted oil, pretty much all the oil that was in the engine out all over the driveway, made a huge mess, had to clean it up. It was not fun. So I went to the dealer, bought this part number, it cost me 80 freaking dollars for this stinking thing. So I hope there's no issues with this thing and it works the way it's supposed to. But that's a whole other story. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the wrapping, pull the little plug out of it so then we've got something that looks like this. Pretty straightforward process on how to swap this out. So what you're gonna do is reach down into the pit of despair and unplug the current sensor. So this is actually what you're looking for right here. You can see that sensor is buried way back there. So you're gonna get your plug out. So here we go, you're gonna pull that plug out. And then Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do pull that out with the camera there. So I will just kind of walk you through it. What I'm going to use here is I bought this tool. It was five bucks on Amazon and one of these swivel heads. I heard that you can get back in there pretty good with one of those. So I'm going to stick that right through here and try to get as close to being straight on as I can with the thing. What I mean by straight on is you don't want to use as, you want to use as little as that swivel as possible. So we're on it and we're loose. Depending on what truck you've got and how close this thing is at a firewall, it may or may not be this easy to get it out. I feel like with the S10, it's pretty close to the firewall. So it's a little bit difficult, but doable. And I just dropped the bag on old sensor down between the firewall and the transmission. And I know this from the last time I tried to do it, that there's so little room between that. The only way I'm going to be able to get it is to go from the bottom and get it out that way. So I'm not even going to try to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and stick the new one in. I can fish that thing out off camera when I'm done here. But it's out. I'm going to take the new one. I'm going to fish my hand back here locate the hole with my finger there it is i'm going to put this thing in there and get it started by hand and i'm going to screw it in as far as i can by hand so there we go that's in from there i'm going to take my extension without my wrench on it i'm going to take and stick it down there and i'm going to locate the sensor with my hand, if I can get the wiring harness out of the way, I want to make sure it's seated on there real good, which it is now, and I'm going to tighten it back down, and I highly recommend using a torque wrench here because you do not want to over torque that thing and mess it up after spending $80 for it, that would not be cool, so again, highly recommend a torque wrench and doing it to the proper torque spec. And also, if you've got the swivel attachment on it like I do, make sure that the thing is not swiveling around, pivoting around on the top of the sensor, which it is. So I'm gonna try to reposition that and get it seated again really well. Which is easier said than done but again you want to make sure it's seated on there well because you do not want to risk damaging that new sensor there we go i've got it again you may want to hold it in position like i'm doing with one hand while you tighten with the other hand i'm just going to snug it up again look up the proper torque spec do it the right way do as i say not as i do 
once you've got everything tightened back down there, reach back down, get your plug, and plug it back in. I'm just doing this by feel. I can't see the dang thing. But it only goes in one way, but the three prongs. So just keep rotating until you get it. Make sure it's fully seated and job done. After you go back down and fish your sensor out of the transmission tunnel. So that's it. I hope this helped you guys out. Show you how to do the process. You see this video is only five minutes long. It's not too difficult to do if you have the right wrench and the right swivel and the right parts. So I thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel as well. And thank you, YouTube.